Hello, Mr. Karen here for another week of our e-learning. How are we all doing, boys and girls? Are we all doing good? All right, this week, let me adjust this camera a little bit. Hello, boys and girls. This week we are going to be kicking the soccer ball. Who remembers what last week's soccer skill was? Anybody remember? Anybody? 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 Dribbling. Do you remember dribbling the soccer ball last week? Dribbling. This week we're going to be kicking the soccer ball, boys and girls. Kicking the soccer ball is how you score what's called a goal in soccer. That's how you score points in soccer. It's called a goal. So if your team scores two goals, that means you've scored twice in the game. Two goals. So we're going to practice kicking the soccer ball today. There are three words that I want you to remember when kicking the soccer ball. First one is step, turn, kick. Can you see the, say those words with me? Step, turn, kick. Step, turn, kick. That is how we are going to kick the soccer ball the right way. We're going to kick the ball using the inside part of our foot, using the inside part of our foot, the same part of our foot that we uh, dribbled with last week. Now we're going to be kicking the soccer ball. Step, turn, kick. Step, turn, kick. Step, turn, kick. So I'm going to show you first without the soccer ball, and then I'll add the soccer ball in a few minutes. So let me move that out of the way. So boys and girls, first thing you have to decide is which foot you're going to kick the soccer ball with. I am going to kick the ball with this foot. Okay, I'm going to kick the ball with this foot. It's probably the same foot as the hand that you write with. So I write with this hand. So I'm probably you're probably going to kick with the foot on the same side of your body. Okay, you want to kick with probably the same foot that of the hand that you write with. Okay, so you have to decide that ahead of time. So I'm going to kick with this foot over here. Okay, so the three words. Step, turn, kick. I am going to, first of all, take a step forward next to the soccer ball with the foot that I am not kicking with. So stay with me. And again, boys and girls, watch this video a couple times to get the, uh, the hang of what I'm telling you. So I'm going to start out standing behind the soccer ball. The first word is step. I am going to step next to the soccer ball with the foot that I am not, 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 not kicking with. I am not kicking with this foot. I put it next to the soccer ball. Step, and then I keep it there, like it's cemented into the ground. Step, then turn. I'm gonna take my kicking foot, which is now behind the soccer ball, and I'm going to turn my kicking foot, so now the inside part of my foot is facing the soccer ball. And then I'm going to kick, the most fun part, and kick. Now notice, my foot that I stepped with, it is still right there. It did not move. It is called your plant foot, P-L-A-N-T. The foot that you're not kicking with is called your plant foot because it is planted in the ground, like plants are planted into the ground. That's the idea behind your plant foot. It's the foot you're not kicking with, and you step next to the soccer ball. Now, those of you that are more beginners at soccer, take your time. Practice this, okay? Practice. The step is the maybe the most important part because if we don't step correctly, we won't be able to kick it how we want to kick it. So let's try this again. And boys and girls, remember, I'm hoping that you'll be able to do this outside. I know the weather this week is a little iffy, a little bit cooler, but hopefully we can still get outside and kick. Make sure you check with your parents and your families of where you could safely do this because we don't want to break anything, right? We want to stay safe. We want to keep everything around us safe as well, okay? So I'm going to start out standing directly behind the soccer ball. Step with my non-kicking foot. Turn and kick the ball. Step, turn, kick. Now I want you to take a couple minutes. And just try that. Go at a nice slow pace. Step, turn, kick. Say those words as you do it. Step, turn, 
kick. Remember, you step with the foot that you're not kicking with. You step with the foot that you're not kicking with. Notice, boys and girls, I'm not using my hands, right? I'm not using my hands. I am trapping the ball with my foot, and now we're ready to kick it. Step, turn, and kick. And then I'm going to get it with my foot, and I am bringing it back. Step, turn, kick. So I want you to take a few minutes now and practice. Step, turn, kick. Take all the time you need. Step, turn, kick. Pause the video and come back for your next instructions after you practice step, turn, kick. Ready and go. All right, boys and girls. And we're back. How'd it go? Step, turn, kick. Now, I want to see if you can go a little bit faster with your step, turn, kick. Because if we're playing a game of soccer, we cannot go super slow and say step, turn, kick. Now, if you're more of a beginner and you want to do more practice going slow, please do that. Please do that. This is not a race to kick it super hard or super fast. We just want to get better. We want to improve. We want to learn and get better from where we were when we started the lesson to when we end the lesson. Take as much time as you need, as much practice as you need. All right, so boys and girls. So now if we go a little bit faster, we want it to be a little bit smoother motion. So now it's step, turn, kick in a smoother motion, okay? Go at a speed or pace that you feel comfortable. Okay, go at a speed or pace that you feel comfortable. Step, turn, kick. Okay, and then foot trap and then go get it with your feet, not your hands. Okay, step, turn, kick. Okay, now, you want to learn a secret to kicking the ball where you want the ball to go. That plant foot, the foot that you step with, those toes of your plant foot will be your aiming point. So if you kick it correctly with using the inside part of your foot, your toes of your plant foot will tell you where the ball is going. Okay, let me show you. If I am standing directly behind the soccer ball and I step with my plant foot here, I'm gonna kick the ball right towards you. If I turn this way and I'm standing behind the soccer ball this way, Step. Now my plant foot is facing this way. I'm going to kick the ball that way. If I'm behind the soccer ball here and I want to kick it this way, now I step with my plant foot. Look where my toes are. Pointing that way. Okay? But I want to kick it towards you so you can see better. Step. Look where my toes are. Okay? Now watch me do it a little bit faster. Step, turn, kick. And that's where the ball goes. Every time. Step, turn, kick. That's where the ball goes every time. Use that inside part of your shoe. The inside part of your shoe. The inside part of your shoe up by your toes, boys and girls. Not like your heel or your back of your foot, but up towards your toes. Step, turn, kick. Now, take a few minutes and practice on your own. Okay, step, turn, kick. See if you go a little bit faster as you get more comfortable doing the kicking, okay? See if you can go a little bit faster, okay? So, step, turn, kick. Now I'm gonna go get it, bring it back. I'm gonna start again. Step, turn, kick. Then I'm gonna bring it back. Oh, boys and girls, make sure you stop the ball before you kick it. We don't wanna kick a rolling ball. That's gonna be super hard. We don't wanna do that. So stand behind the ball, step, turn, kick. And the faster you do step, turn, kick, you get a little more power into your kick. You get a little more power into your kick. So that is today's lesson. Take 10, 15 minutes. And just work on kicking the ball. Kicking the ball. Kick it where you want it to go by pointing your plant foot in that direction. If you get comfortable and you can really point your plant foot wherever you want it to go, and you can kick it that way, then you've done a wonderful job. Continue practicing, boys and girls. Practice, 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 right? Nobody becomes amazing at something without any practice. We all start as beginners. So take 10 or 15 minutes, work on kicking the soccer ball. 
step, turn, kick. Let me know if you have any questions. I am back in the building this week. I look forward to talking to you soon and have a great rest of your day.